And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Gems. Going to be our last meme tier Monday deck today on this Tuesday. I guess that kind of fits. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's the Tuesday edition of Meme Tier Monday. We had t uh, so many donation decks uh, for Meme Tier Monday. This one is going to be one with Jay Medarda. We're going to be playing a Soraka Vi for our champions and a bunch of gems. And we got Jay Medarda in here, which of course Jay Medarda is whenever... I'm targeted and survive, draw a card. And so we're gonna be trying to target the Jay Medarda with a bunch of gems. We'll have uh, the three Mountain Goat, the three Mentor of the Stones, and even a Shards of the Mountain, uh, spicy one there to be able to fill our hand with gems. The gems also, of course, work great with Assembly Bot. Each time that we cast a spell, Assembly Bot uh, grants the plus one, plus one. Of course, the gems do heal damaged allies, which could level up the Soraka. And so if we make a very large assembly bot or just anything else really large with the gems, like Vi, you can make really large with uh, each time that you're playing a spell, you, you uh, grant Vi plus one plus zero. So each gem grants Vi plus two plus zero. Since we're going to be making some large stuff, we're going to need to get that damage in. So we're going to be playing three Zenith Blades, give those things plus one, plus two, and Overwhelm. So we can make a big Overwhelm assembly bot or Vi or J Madarda or anything like that. Um, and then we have the Broadback Protector in here to heal our Nexus and also be able to deal damage to itself so we can start gemming the Broadback Protector so we can heal that for our Soraka. Yeah, that's kind of our deck. It should be pretty cool. We're going to be playing Soraka and Divai and Jay Medarda Assembly Bot with a bunch of gems. So let's see how it goes. Let's go play uh, five games over in normal because it is Meme Tier Tuesday. Okay, the, the deck that wants to defeat other decks with units. Let's get rid of the Guiding Touch, but I like the rest. I don't know, like, it's not like the Guiding Touch is necessarily bad. Because that can grow Assembly Bot. Alright, looks like we got it. So, like, we're, we're like, all-in Assembly Bot. Yeah, and we can put like a bunch of gems on a Soraka and a, and a um, Zenith Blade on a Soraka so that we can make like the Soraka a real attacker that they have to respect and um, uh, that they have to respect and block and everything and, and that just helps out Soraka if things are blocking it. That worked out well. It had the potential to go wrong, but it didn't go wrong. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. I said I do have to watch out for. Okay, I was gonna say I have to, I have to watch out for like them playing the the challenger spell. The one that gets Valor. I guess they're maybe not playing that card, but IDK, I was worried. Deadly paths, just another day in Targon. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Man, all these barriers. I'll protect you. So many barriers. Your place Man, it's a level up Shen already. Honor guide me. Our wills align. Crazy. So at least they didn't challenge. Another path, another problem. Could block like this. Let's see, four, five, five, six, six. So I guess I should probably kill this thing. So we want to go deal two to that. Hell cascade this. 
maybe shoot this other 3-2. Also, while we're at it. Alright, so this Broadback Protector will die at the beginning of the turn. Stand back. Be brave. That was the reason not to play the Mystic Shot was reposed. I guess I guess I should not have played Mystic Shot. Yeah, that was that was the main reason to not play. Mystic shot. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. So I feel about that. I feel bad about that. Two worlds. Oh come on! Another Shen. Oh, it's gonna get the plus three plus zero. I forgot about the plus three plus zero from the leveled up Shen. They're like they're down to just one card, and I have a, a ton of cards. Honor dictates both our actions. Yeah, they do have a board, and I do not. It must be done. My steel is yours. So I'm down to nine. Casting that Mystic Shot is going to cost me. It looks like. Ours is the one true light. We swim within the flows of magic. Still the Shen Screeching Dragon combo gonna be a little rough. We made it, Rib! I wanna go home. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. If they don't kill my assembly bot this turn, they're this dead. Way. Oh. Engulf them. So that's eight. That's seven. That's nine. Don't touch my clock. A gift from the river folk. All right, so likely dead with me having this um, spell shield here. They did just draw a spell. It could like. I guess their spell could be deny, right? Like that's that's the card they need is deny. Oh, right, well, that's great. And they're not even taking down the spell shield. So yeah, as, as long as they don't draw deny here, they should just be dead. They better not have drawn deny. All right, good. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. 
All right, now we gem up this assembly bot. And it has overwhelm. And it gonna be big. Each one of these gives it plus two, plus two, basically. Shards of the Mountain Assembly Bond. The old 2716. Overwhelm with Spell Shield. He's unstoppable. And basically, build your own Pursuit of Perfection, right? Like the Catastrophe. Right, like that's what we're doing here. We're building our own Catastrophe. <laughs> GG's. Build your own catastrophe. Well, that was pretty sweet. Soraka gems. Okay, another Shen deck. Shen Lulu with Demacia. So another Shen Demacia deck. This one with Lulu. We're going to go ahead and mulligan a couple of these cards. We'll keep all of these. All right, we got Solari Soldier into the Mountain Goat. Yeah, I guess if they would have, yeah, if they would have drawn deep. I mean, well, Hush wasn't in their regions, but they could have played the Demacia version of Hush that doesn't hit champions because we weren't playing champions anyway. But of course, we had the spell shield, so they would have had to have like deep meditation into double that card, purify. Yeah. Deep Meditation that hit Double Purify, or just something else plus Purify. Single Combat Purify. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Whoa, Soraka. We got Soraka Goat. Hey, goat with the little baby goat. It's like uh, Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Going to the Super Bowl. Couple goats. Oh, the little goats. All right, so we picked up a gem, which is good because our deck is named Soraka Gems. We protect these woods as they protect us. Ow, ow. Every step, a new journey. We go. Go no further. Or where that came from. Hmm. Be at peace. Take heart. I basically think I just don't really want them to have another good blocker in play. And I'll just play my assembly bot and that kind of stuff afterwards. I think I just want to get, like, get the attack before they get a good blocker. And then do all the assembly bot stuff after that. Which, obviously, this is perfectly fine with me. I will trade my one mana 2-2 for a three mana barrier. I will, I will do that trade. Oh, where are you going, opponent? But, but, but. We were. But. The stars will so I was going to gem the Soraka, turn the Soraka into a 2 6. Alright, what we got here? Jinx, Vi, Fortune. Jinx, Vi, Fortune. Alright, well, this hand's pretty good. I'm just going to keep it all. So yeah, just definitely a disappointing end to that last game. I I am very confident that we are going to be winning that game, but that, unfortunately we didn't, really didn't get to show off our deck too much. That that game with our opponent conceding. That's just what what happens sometimes. Alright, I'm keeping the two mana for Guiding Touch up instead of just playing Solari uh, Soldier. Cool. And of course I'll take the damage on Soraka.
Sure. You can get that vulnerable. Because that thing ain't dying. I don't know, I could play like my my other 3-3 three, three Solar Soldier. possible they kill the Soraka, and if they do, it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. It's got a bunch of one-mana cards over there. Jury Rig, another e been warned. Get to heal a couple of things again. This one's looking great. Our opponent's deck is okay. There we go. I was gonna say not necessarily the strongest, but this is looking great. I could, I could cast the Soraka's Wish and heal this Soraka and um, level it up, but we can probably level it up again in a little bit. Let's play this J Medarda. Start targeting J. go with no it's like how how do we want to win basically how do we want to win but yeah it, we we had that game under full control again these opponents are conceding too fast fiora shen again all right we'll try this one out this is a t definitely a very good tier one deck that we can lose. I don't need the soldier. Why am I keeping soldier? Yeah, I don't need soldier. So we'll go guiding bot. All right, I guess we'll keep the soldier also. Ours is the one true light. That's a good draw, that goat. Good placement here. Start getting some gems. My shield is yours. Yeah, force out a Bright Steel Protector before the Bright Steel Protector like owns us later on with a Shannon play. I'll take that. The Zenith Blade. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. I'm just gonna pass. I was scared of playing the Zenith Blade. The Eye of Twilight sees all. And they play single combat. I find them unworthy. Alright, so Repose does kill Repose is six damage and I can't. I can't handle six damage, so Repost does kill the assembly bond. If I block the Shen, that is. I can block this thing, and I can still save from Repost. Gift from the river folk. I am here to help. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. Okay. 
Kind of looked like single combat was there. Give me no choice. So traded a guiding touch for a repost. All right, so we got a repost and a concerted strike out of their hand. Take heart. And the concerted strike didn't draw a card with the river shaper, so that's good. But of course, the river shaper's still alive. We're gonna keep getting barriers and gonna keep uh, drawing millions of cards. But we're doing what we can. It must be done. Engulf them. Nature blesses her followers. I understand. Okay. From the river folk. A love adventure. Treasure's just a bomb. So guiding touch on Jay Madarda draws two cards. Of course, on the assembly bot, it heals the assembly bot. Unfortunately, we drew, you know, we drew two Zenith blades, so whenever we played one and, and uh, drew the other. Like, I can't draw the third, because we have the third in hand. Discover the unknown. Discover the unknown. So we should draw two cards here, right? Yeah, we draw one from the single combat, one from the Zenith Blade. All right, I think I'll just have them waste their mana. I could play my one drop, but I think that's a little greedy. I'll just have them waste their mana. J value. Okay, finally, Mystic Shot that can take down barriers. Enforced equilibrium. Discover the unknown. You're in over your head. They are under my protection. River Shaper is gross. Always talking about urine. No mercy for heretics. Right, because the River Shaper is just like urine over your own head. And just like, whoa, that's gross, man. All right, I guess we'll just do these blocks. See what, see what they got. All right, so we are going to first Mystic Shot that thing. Second, Guiding Touch this thing. And we will let Jay Madarda die. Yeah. We'll let this happen like this. Unfortunately, we keep on drawing units. Like, look, <laughs> like we just keep, we've drawn just like yeah, I just keep drawing units, so what form will the waters take? that's too bad. That was a good nullify there. They get to draw two cards. A gift from the river folk. With that, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't want all these units. Um, I'm playing Soraka for sure, and either the bot or the goat. The goat can find gems. The bot can be kind of cool for Zenith Blade. I guess maybe I'll just go with the goat. We've only healed two. That only heals five. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. That river shaper they had just drew, you know, like five extra cards or so. Precision 
Wisdom and grace. Gonna have four health. In a long path to get you. Yeah, this deck is rough. Bless the faithful and see this deck my opponent's playing. So I go. I will cut you down. So basically I'm not going to I'm not going to block there because I don't want to give them the opportunity to like play pump spells and stuff after like I block then they have priority to play pump spell to kill my Soraka. I don't want to give them that opportunity so they have to use fight spells to kill the Soraka if they want to. Hey, Jan, thank you so much for gifting a sub on over to Kordek. I appreciate that. Kordek is one of my best viewers for sure. Always here. Thank you so much There's there, Jan. I appreciate that. Okay. All right, so I, I do need to, to level up Soraka, but I also need to... I need to level up Soraka, but I also kind of need to put the gems on J to draw an extra card, but this will draw an extra card here. Oh, that can be a great card. Alright, we'll see if they waste their 7 mana. Cool. Discover the unknown. That could be a good card. Discover the unknown. So I have ten cards in hand. Stars fall. I got here first. I guess you don't necessarily have to attack. Take heart. Oh, right. They're at one and I have Mystic Shot. So we see them play two Nopifies. We haven't seen them play a Deny yet. I was kind of focused on everything else, and I, I forgot about their life total being at one. TBH. Stand for what's right. The king who go where they are needed. Fall by my sword. Stand for what's right. Ben is so great. I find them unworthy. Try me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so deny is pretty likely. Don't hold back. Oh god. Third Nopify. Alright, we draw two. 
Discover the unknown. Where's another mystic shot? Mystic shot, Discover mystic shot. Oh, that hush would have been great. Could have hushed the Shen. That would have been great. Ran out of room. All right, three and one. I, I'm sure I could have played better there. I went, you know, like going for like the shards of the mountain because shards of the mountain is cool. I'm sure playing Vi would have been a lot better than shards of the mountain, and you know, not attacking until all that mana and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm sure we could have, I could have put myself in a better position, but oh well. Gotta, gotta have some fun here on meme tier Tuesday. Yeah, I didn't have any more mana. I'm not sure exactly what Demacia Ionia No Challengers is going to be, but I feel like I want to try to keep this assembly bot and all burst spells to go along with it. Let's try this out. I think this could be pretty cool. There's a few different things like this could be. Like this could be a deck that has like a good amount of elusives because it's Ionia. You know, we could be looking at like a Grand Plaza Challenger deck. Um probably not going to be a control deck, because there you'd really want, like, Karma and Lux and those kind of cards. Which obviously don't have. They cannot hide. Dubs bots. Let's go. Let's assemble some bots. Could be like a go get it Shadow Assassin deck. The one sprint for each crab I saw today. So basically, like in this scenario, like these four, I don't think I need to have Astral Protection or Bastion up, so I'm just going to throw away the Guiding Touch just to use two mana. Um, next turn, I'm going to be planning on playing the Zenith Blade to begin the turn. But I was I was keeping up, you know, like, single combat's always a card, right? So I wasn't going to just play, like, Solari Soldier there and, and not have uh, the ability to stop single combat. Sure. Uh, they have no champions in their deck. Silent as death. So yeah, that, that retreat return was three mana draw card. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. All right, we can get rid of both of these. With them being tapped out. And of course, we want cards out of our hand for the Shards of the Mountain. <laughs> Passing the turn. Follow the horizon. Go. It's too late for you. Go get it. Recall. So, yep, they're just trying to recall as much as possible. Um. Alright, I'm just gonna bolt the Shadow Assassin so they don't keep on putting that back in their hand. Plus, you know, I want to cast spells anyway to make my uh, assembly bots larger. So, 
This is 16 Overwhelm, minus the 5 where they're blocking, puts them down to 9, and then an additional 2 there puts them down to 7. And we got two very large and in charge assembly bots. They are the Ionia region, so if they are playing something like Will of Ionia, they will do something about that. So their two Jewel Protectors have, have done different cards. They have this card is Jewel Protectored, and now this card is Jewel Protectored. So they have two different... There you go, that was one of them. 6-4 Barrier. That was what they Inspiring Mentored also. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Let's go with you getting this. And then we'll go with the other one getting the Astral Protection. Because uh, we, we can heal a little bit more on the other one. That's not bad, though. Four mana for two 6-4 Barrier Challengers. That's not bad. You know, on a scale of bad to not bad, that's that's not bad. Wait, I want any trouble. Okay, so that was their other jewel protector went with the Navori Highwayman. Yeah, they got the cool stuff going on over there. So do we, though. We, we have cool stuff going on, too. And this is going to be the ultimate test. Do they have, like, Will of Ionia? Right, they're not denying the Shards of the Mountain. Because we are going to build some bots. Build a bot. Y'all ever go to that store in the mall, build a bot? Where you get to build your own bot? That's what we're doing here with these gems. I want to heal... Alright, so now it's 11 and 12. Okay, let's attack with our bots that we just built. Build a bot. <laughs> My opponents are like, what? How'd you build so, such big bots? This is a catastrophe. And I'm like, eh, it's basically a catastrophe. Put them together. Okay, Spirit's Refuge. Heal six. I think that's still too much damage. Still 36 damage coming in. A little too much. GG. Our build bots. All right, so a nice 4-1 there with Soraka Gems. This one's pretty cool, and we get to do some crazy stuff. Uh, we went 1-1 one one against Fiora Shen, and we know how good Fiora Shen is. Like, that deck is incredible and, like, really good against other units. Like, you know, like, we don't have very much interaction. And so, like, we're a deck that's just, like, playing units and attacking and blocking. And Fiora Shen is usually, like, the king of, like, those kind of decks. And so the fact that we're able to go 1-1 one one against them, very good. And almost, almost 2-0, you know, like, I, I probably could have uh, played differently to play uh, to give us a better chance than what I did. Um, but they did have the third Nopify for my Mystic Shot that was going to be lethal. But this deck was pretty sweet. You know, like, our, our we only had two Assembly Bots, which is kind of crazy, because, like, we always had, like, those two Assembly Bots that we were gemming up. Um, we got to, you know, draw a bunch of cards at Jamadarda. Uh, we got to do some pretty cool stuff in here. Our one shards of the mountain, like that's why we play it. Don't need a second. We, we play it, fill our hand with gems, and it was cool. So cool, cool little deck here. If you want to play like a different Soraka deck, right? Like everybody plays Soraka with like Tom Kench, like that's and that's kind of about it. So if you want to play a different kind of Soraka deck, um, and you know want to have some fun with Jay Medarda drawing a bunch of cards, uh, give this one a try. I think that you will be pleasantly surprised with it, um, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it as much as we played it here. All right, so that's it here for Soraka Gems. So everybody uh, on YouTube, like I said, give this one a try, and once you do, leave those comments. Those comments really help out the channel. Um, just leaving comments on there, they, they help the YouTube algorithm, so I always really appreciate them. Um, but yeah, let me know with, with those comments, let me know how do you like the deck? Um, if you try it out yourself, how does it work for you? Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it, had some fun watching some different stuff. Like even our opponent that last game did some different stuff. So that was pretty cool than what you normally see. And that's what meme tier Monday, Tuesday edition is all about seeing some different stuff. All right, but that's all I got here for Sir Rocka gems. 
So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.